And shallowness in werewolves' case leads to sloppiness, too. Let me give you an example. The book Jesus Christ is Not God, he wrote, and he claimed that this was solid proof that Jesus Christ does not have a divine nature as well as a human nature. Now, there's one chapter in that book called Common Errors in Understanding, which is actually verses of the Bible that talk about the divinity of Jesus Christ. Well, this was originally a talk he gave, uh, tape 295, if you want to look it up, which was later transcribed and became a chapter of this book. Well, it's interesting to see how shallow these things are. These are important verses of the Bible to study to discover who Jesus Christ is. And yet, in nine of these verses, he just gives a one-sentence explanation of why it doesn't say what it says. And then other four verses, he just gives two sentences to refute them. Others, just three sentences. It's so shallow and superficial and sloppy. And yet, it's promoted as though this is serious research in a groundbreaking book. You can contrast uh, theological writings that are really theological writings, and most people from the later national don't look, know what serious theological writings actually look like. For example, Kittle, a word book of Greek words, would devote several pages to just a single key word in one of those verses. And so a real interpretation of them, seriously, would have to be much more detailed. But where was just shallow and sloppy, and that's an example. They consider Jesus Christ is not God to be a book that soundly refutes the traditional teaching of the church about Christ Jesus. And yet, it's like full of white space. If you actually count the words in it, it's really only about mm, maybe eight magazine articles all stitched together. It's really sloppy and superficial. Another example of sloppiness is Power for Abundant Living. Uh, where we'll talk about Enoch in Hebrews chapter 11, that he didn't see death, and his proof was the Greek word is anablepo. Well, the Greek word wasn't that. Later on, they had to change that in their books, but didn't change the interpretation. In other words, he knew what he wanted the verse to say, and it really didn't matter what Greek word was used, and he just made that up as he went along. There's often times in his teachings when he appears to be teaching from his heart, when he's actually reading from notes in the Companion Bible. So this is the biggest category, perhaps, of Werewolf's books. It's, uh, well, shallow and sloppy.